Martín. Fuerte el aplauso, por favor. conference and all the people yes, is, uh, are nice people, nice people, and let's start with the conference. We want to start with Ms. Maripilla Alonso from ABC Newspaper. Good afternoon, welcome to Paraguay. Hello. Hi. Hello. <laughs> uh, I want to know about the show. You're gonna, what are your expectations and what we're going to see tomorrow at the Jackie Club? <laughs> well, it's, um, we, we've been to South America a couple of times. We've never been to Paraguay before, so it's great to be here. Um, but the crowds that we've had on other trips here have always been amazing. So I think it's going to be very loud. And, uh, and a lot of fun, really excitable crowds. And uh, we're going to play a few new songs, we're going to play a few old songs, and, uh, and hopefully people are going to sing along. So I think, I don't know, apart from that, I think it's going to be a keen gig that you would expect wherever you are around the world, but um, with, with a louder crowd. Si bien, eh, si bien no es la primera vez que están en Sudamérica, eh, es la primera vez que están en Paraguay y teniendo en cuenta cómo ya fue el público sudamericano anterior, anteriormente, al cual le encontraron bastante energético, eh, esperan un show con mucha energía, con el público respondiendo y esperan también cantando las canciones con ellos, van a ser tanto canciones de su nuevo disco como también canciones viejas. Muy bien, ahora vamos con Miguel López del diario Última Hora Digital, Miguel. Bueno, muy buenas tardes, bienvenidos a Solución Paraguay. Gracias. Eh, 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 esta mañana tuvieron el primer contacto con el público paraguayo. ¿Cuál es la impresión que tuvieron y qué les llamó la atención de, del público de esta parte? By, um, by our fans, it's very cool, isn't it? Yeah, we feel very lucky to, you know, come to a place for the first time and find so many people here who love our music. It's very strange and peculiar. Eh, es un sentimiento bastante extraño y peculiar el venir por primera vez a un lugar y el sentir el calor de la gente que ellos creen que de repente es increíble que tanta gente conozca su música, los conozca a ellos y hayan sido saludados de una manera tan efusiva y cariñosa como lo fue, no, como lo fue esta mañana. Omar Rilado, Crónica Newspaper. Buenas tardes, eh, bienvenidos. Eh, yo le quería preguntar casi también lo mismo. Este, en estas pocas horas que, estuve, que están por, por el país, eh, ¿qué fue lo más extraño que vieron en esta Strange Land? <risa> <risa> I looked out of um, my hotel window and there was a group of people putting up a big banner that said Welcome King, uh -huh. which was nice. After we'd arrived. After we'd arrived, yeah. <laughs> okay. Uh, dice que lo más peculiar eh, fue al momento de llegar al hotel ya encontraron un grupo de fans que estaba haciendo un cartel en la calle que decía bienvenido King y el ponerlo al frente del hotel. Que eso es lo que yo Lo pueden ver porque está igual en el medio de la calle. Every person I've met so far has been a massive fan of King as well, which has been very strange. Like when we got off the plane, all the people that were 
the officials for the, the airline were stood there wanting photos. Like I was stopping everyone getting off the plane. And then everyone at the baggage handling was a fan of Keen. Everyone in the airport. And then when I got my room service, the guy came up with my room service and he was he said he was the biggest fan of Keen. <laughs> so it's hard to judge who the biggest fan of Keen is, but everyone in Paraguay, by all accounts. President, yeah. <laughs> Otra cosa bastante peculiar es que al momento que ellos bajaron el avión todavía habían recién pasado por migraciones y todo el mundo era el, el, el fan más grande de quien desde, desde el personal del aeropuerto, el personal de Duty Free, la gente, los maleteros que le querían ayudar a llevar las maletas porque decían que eran fanáticos de quien inclusive la persona encargada del servicio de cuarto de Tom también dijo que era el, el fan más grande de quien así que hasta ahora todo el mundo es fan de quien el más grande de quien, fan de quien Y es sorprendente la cantidad de gente que le conoce y reconoce ser fan de Kim. Yeah, either we're very popular here or you're very good at tricking us into thinking we are. Yeah, no, así inclusive pensar que somos bastante populares y todo. Vamos con Carlos Jiménez, Día de la Nación. Bateco, así saludamos aquí en Paraguay. Eh, me, me estaba fijando en el listado de temas de sus últimos conciertos y eh, parece que el tercer disco perfectamente que fue el menos mimado eh, que, que tienen en sus conciertos en vivo. Eh, ¿Es así? ¿Es el disco menos mimado para ustedes? Eh, by, looking, by looking at a, a set list from different concerts, eh, he realized that Perfect Symmetry, the third album, is like the less spoiled. Of your album, or the one that you pay less attention to, uh, is it is is it the way it's going to be? Is is it always like that? It's because all the songs on it are very hard to play. <laughs> dice no, dice básicamente porque es el disco que el, el en el cual las canciones son las más difíciles de tocar de, entre todas, así que por eso. That's not. I don't know whether that's strictly true. Is that true? It's one of the reasons. <laughs> They've got guitar on and you don't like playing the guitar. So. <laughs> What's that? Next question. What's that? <laughs> Jesse said it, that they've all got guitar on and Tom doesn't like playing the guitar. So we don't play some of those for that. Maybe. But also because it was the last record we put out, you know, we, we, used to, we were playing it an awful lot, you know, a couple of years ago. And I guess, you know, we, we maybe want to play a lot of the new songs, you've got to make room somehow, so we don't want to not play the songs like Somewhere Any We Know and Everybody's Changing that people want to hear, so something has to give, or we just do a Bruce Springsteen style concert that lasts for like three and a half hours till everyone goes home. Ok, eh, aparte de la dificultad de tocar el álbum, dice que es también el álbum que contiene una considerable cantidad de guitarras tocadas en el álbum y a Tom no le gusta tocar guitarra. Entonces, eh, bueno, y aparte de eso, eh, como que es también el álbum con el que también eh, estuvieron haciendo giras pasadas, como que se sintieron un poco sobrecargados de tanto tocar ese álbum. Entonces, últimamente le están también prestando más atención a los clásicos, porque dicen que el público les va a matar si de repente termina el concierto y no hay un Everybody's Changing o un Somewhere Only We Know. Entonces, le dan, como que le prestan atención a todo el repertorio, no tanto al, al, al Perfect Symmetry. Vamos con Bri Hooper, del futuro. Eh, sí, eh, buenas tardes. Lo que quería saber era si los shows que hace poco, en los últimos meses, Noel Gallagher y Paul McCartney dieron en Paraguay, ¿tienen algo que ver con su presencia aquí? Si a ustedes les sirve de garantía de que el hecho de que grandes artistas estén viniendo regularmente a Paraguay. Uh, Paul McCartney y Noel Gallagher han recientemente played in the country. Uh, first of all, have you heard about that? And second, uh, is that like a guarantee of a good show or a good response for the audience in your, from the audience here in Paraguay? Hmm. Don't know. <laughs> <laughs> um, well, it's great. They're great live, both those guys. <laughs> um, what else can I say? I think the question was more related to the fact that Paraguay is now in the root 
yeah. of international yeah. policy. Uh, yeah, and that you it's get more into that into yeah, that, that direction fact. rather than you know because yeah, Paul McCartney, Noel Gallagher, Guns N' Roses, and so on and so forth have been here in the last year and a half. Yeah, if that makes a difference for yeah. a band like Keen to make a decision to actually yes. come down to Paraguay as well. Yeah, I got that. I I got it. I was with you. <laughs> but uh, I, yeah, I think so. I think it just, you know, the, the more concerts you have, the more, you know, promoters are going to want to send bands here or whatever. But it's uh, it's fun for us knowing that those people have been here recently. We know that the, the kind of music that comes out of the UK is welcome here. So that's great. You know, that's, that's a really nice thing because we are a very long way from home. It took us many hours to get here. <laughs> And we're from a tiny little town, and you know, a couple of small towns in the UK, and uh, it, it, you know, it's a long way from home. So it's amazing that British music gets here, let alone our oh, British music gets here. Principalmente, le, le encuentran sorprendente el hecho de que la música británica sea tan reconocida en Paraguay. Eh, el hecho de que los artistas de la talla, de los que ya mencionaron, ya hayan tocado en, en, en Paraguay, ya les da la idea de que, aprie, de que aprecian ese tipo de música, lo cual es bueno porque el viaje fue largo, fueron muchas horas de viaje, inclusive para ellos que esencialmente son de dos pequeños pueblitos de Inglaterra, les parece increíble estar acá y tocar para el público para hoy. Vamos con Andrea Benítez, Canal 13. Uh, was that a question about 2006? Yeah. Can I feel that? Well, I'm going Well, uh, welcome again. We want to hear Tim too. <laughs> so, uh, the, the, this is the question. Um, <laughs> hopes and fears. Are you serious? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> hopes and fears in 2004 was so successful. So, uh, it's Strange Land 2. So, what do you think about it? How uh, do you make to stay at the top of the chart uh, always? Uh, what do you think? <laughs> Uh, I don't know. I mean, we just—you just have to keep working hard. I mean, I—I I, I think it really comes down to the songs a lot, um, and you know, because that's the kind of magic ingredient that you know you, you can't just get by kind of putting in the hours. You know, you—you you, you have to sort of still be able to make great music in a way that nobody else can, I suppose, um, because then people want to have that magical thing on their CD players or on their iPods or whatever. And um, yeah, you know, I don't know, it's, it's, it's very difficult to work out what it is that makes music good, I suppose. But, you know, we, we just keep working really hard at it and uh, try not to sort of um, get complacent, I suppose. Um, but yeah, I mean, it's, it's strange because it, um, I don't know. You you never know when the when the when you're going to stop being able to write good songs, <laughs> if you know what I mean. So we're just really happy that um, you know after uh, eight years, you know we're still making an album that people want to hear in Paraguay. You know, it's, it's a great honor for us. Básicamente es el tema trabajar duro para seguir produciendo canciones que por medio de trabajo duro, sean las mejores posibles, como para que al público le guste. Eh, según él, es una especie de magia la que produce ese trabajo duro, y es, la, eh, y es esa magia la que hace que, lo, que los álbumes y las canciones sean tan exitosas. Eh, están muy felices con ese resultado, y es justamente el plan, seguir trabajando duro, porque nunca se sabe cuándo el público va a dejar de gustar de las canciones de King. Bueno, vamos a la siguiente pregunta. Ahora tenemos a Roberto Gómez, y el último hora. Hola, 
¿Cómo se da esa evolución de, digamos, de que de, de la guitarra pase el piano a ser protagonista? Y si es que eso influyó de alguna forma para el éxito que tuvo el grupo. Okay. Um, how is that evolution? How is that evolution uh, from, for example, from guitar to piano? in what we hear in the records. Uh, how do you make those kind of decisions mm -hmm. in, in, when, when it comes to, a, to writing the songs or, or recording the songs? And how do you manage that? Well, when we first started as a band, which was in the 1990s, uh, we just wanted to be a bit like a kind of mixture of U2 and Radiohead and the Beatles. We just, <laughs> all our favorite bands, we were basically just a kind of kind of combination of those influences. And so we started off as a straightforward sort of four-piece guitar band, but then our guitarist left, and so we had the conundrum of working out whether we wanted another person to join the band or whether we wanted to just try and see if we could do it with the, with the three of us at that point. So Tim just started playing the piano, and it seemed to work with the songs at the time. And, and ever since then, we've just gone with our instincts. Um, with the second record, we just wanted to make it a kind of darker and dirtier sound, so the piano went through a whole load of kind of guitar effects. Mm -hmm. Third album, Jesse joined us. It kind of freed us up to do things. Um, well, it, it, it made it a lot freer musically, so we could experiment sonically and um, use lots of different instruments, including the guitar. And then with this album, I think we wanted to get back to doing things in a more simple way. Um, a more kind of signature keen style, um, which meant kind of going back more towards using the piano. Okay. Eh, bueno, el, el, el tema fue un tema evolutivo. Ellos empezaron más o menos en los noventas y empezaron como cualquier grupo, como cualquier cuarteto con guitarras y demás. Ahora, eh, sí, sí. hubo un tiempo en el que uno de los guitarristas dejó el grupo y ahí se tomó la decisión de eh, traer otro guitarrista o que Tim, por ejemplo, empiece a tocar el piano. Lo cual resultó en algo bueno y de ahí, por ejemplo, salió el primer disco que tiene ese, ese sonido característico de King. Luego vino el segundo disco, el cual quisieron hacerlo con un sonido más oscuro y que darle un poquitito más de efectos de guitarra al piano. Y a partir del tercer disco, ya con la ayuda de la guitarra también se complementa un poquitito más lo que sería un sonido más poderoso. Ahora, con el, con, con el último, quieren, o sea, la intención era volver al sonido característico de King con el piano y demás cosas. I was going to say, to add to that, I think in a way we've always been a guitar band, but we've just been a guitar band that haven't actually had a guitar, if that makes, if that's kind of a weird thing to say, but we've always used the piano like it were a, a guitar, I guess. Eh, de hecho que siempre la intención de ellos fue, o sea, la, la esencia de ellos fue el sonar como un grupo de guitarra, pero sin guitarra, o sea, si se puede explicar de esa manera. Es por eso que de repente todo lo que haría la guitarra es lo que suena en el piano. Ok, vamos con Claudio Campos, Diario Cinco Días. Sí, welcome. Eh, mi pregunta es, ¿con qué tema van a arrancar el concierto y con cuál cerrar? Uh, what song are you going to start with the concert and what's going to be the last song? We haven't decided yet. Surprise. Yeah, we don't know. <laughs> Anyone got any ideas? Do you have any suggestions? Ben and Break. Ben and Break. Ben and break. Yeah. Again and again. Again and again. That's our perfect symmetry. We can't play that. <laughs> For the fans. Ben and Break. No wonder. Bueno, están sugiriendo, o sea, pidiendo referencia o por lo menos consejo en qué empezar y terminar. Así que no está decidido todavía eso. We decide after sound check. You know, we always just make the set list while we're having some food or something. Eh, general, generalmente durante o después de la prueba de sonido es donde deciden así realmente cuál va a ser el set list. Bueno, ahora tenemos a... A ver, vamos 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 Welcome, King, to Paraguay. Um, it must, I have to read because my nervousness, you know. Um, it must be a blessing, Tom Stoplin's voice for King, and at the same time, a curse. Because 
you know, uh, when more than 20,000 people like me try to sing along with the band, imitating Tom's voice, like, if only I could put the break. How, how do you manage it? We didn't even need to come here. <laughs> <laughs> um, well, all the girls find it easy to sing along. <laughs> um, it is, my voice is a blessing and a curse, but a blessing for its singing and a curse for its speaking. For speaking. I know, I know these guys a lot, talking a lot. I don't really know. You can't sing low. He can only yeah. sing high. He can't yeah. sing low. <laughs> yeah. That sounds terrible. Bueno, el tema, el, el tema dice, dice que es una bendición por el, eh, al momento de cantar, pero es una maldición de repente al momento de hablar, por el tono mismo de la voz. Pero con el tema de que el público le acompaña no tiene problema porque son las chicas al final las que, la, la, la que más alcanzan el registro de voz de Tom. Porque, según lo, que, según lo que dice, él no puede lo cantar abajo. Sí o sí tiene que cantar abajo. Okay. Vamos con, en este momento, con Unicana de Noticia Peral. Hi. Hi. Teniendo en cuenta que es la primera vez que están en Paraguay, ¿van a hacer algún recorrido? ¿Van a ver algo? ¿Tienen algo planeado en este día? Taking into account that it's great, that it's your first time in Paraguay, uh, do you have plans to, you know, Make a tour around the city or, or this is why we're doing this conference so that we can ask you where we should go. Ah. Eh, el pro, uno de los propósitos de esta conferencia de prensa es, por ejemplo, preguntarte, por ejemplo, a dónde podrían ir. Where should we go? Don't say home. <laughs> <laughs> Well, depending if it's if you want to go nearby or, or, or far away, how much. Well, we have got to do a show tomorrow, so we can't we can't go too far. No, no pueden ir muy lejos porque igual el show ya es mañana. Vamos a llevarle para el centro. Vamos a correr al centro. Are we are we going out tonight? Okay. Another one. Okay. Another one. 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 Bueno, finalizamos con Marcelo Burgos, la tele. Hello, uh, about the songs again. Uh, there were some change in every album you release. Uh, for example, in the previous one, uh, you played with Kenan. And now you are uh, four people in the band. Uh, so uh, you, you always tend to change, uh, but uh, keeping your essence. Did you say, do we always intend to change? Yes. Like, we want to keep changing? Yes, yes. Um, I think it's just something that happens. You know, I, th I think each album, you react to what you did with the album before. And we don't, sometimes we go in with a plan, but whatever you think you're going to do, you don't do. You just end up making a record that's whatever's inside you. So I think it will always be different, because we'll... You know, the songs will be about different things, and we're, you know, our lives will change. The way we play will change, and uh, you know, Tim will have bought, you know, ten more keyboards by the time we get to the next record, and Jesse will have bought about ten more basses. So I don't know. You've got your microphone. You don't need anything else. Um, yeah, I don't know. It's just something that happens very naturally. But you know, there's. There's four of us in the band. We all have different ideas, and we try them out. I think the one thing we've learned is to try out all the ideas, however stupid they sort of sound to everyone else. You try it out, and sometimes the unexpected things are what sound really good. And I guess that's part of, you know, ev evolving as a band. Eh, lo del tema del cambio, lo del tema de la evolución. Eh, primero que nada, dice que generalmente. Eh, con, la, eh, con respecto a las ideas iniciales con un disco nuevo sería, por ejemplo, teniendo en cuenta el resultado de lo que fue el disco anterior. Pero igual, eh, con cual, cualquiera sea el plan inicial que tengan al momento de grabar un disco, entran al estudio y el plan generalmente se va al diablo porque al final en lo que fluye dentro de, de ellos, ya que son cuatro personas completamente diferentes, es lo que realmente se plasma en, en, en un material nuevo. Eh, y dice... Eh, te cuidas ahí para el, para el siguiente, ya Tim va a tener por lo menos 10 teclados, sonidos de teclados más y 10 bases nuevas como para poder experimentar, así que cambio constante. Perfecto, con esto finalizamos, con esto terminamos, muchísimas gracias a todos.
conferencia de prensa. Le, pre le preguntamos a Gabriel algunas palabras para el público en general con respecto al show para ir cerrando. I own a, 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 a blog that promotes British music for a long time, so I can assure you you have a, long, a huge legion of uh, fans he, uh, here. And they asked me to give you this. August is the, the month of the Paraguayan flag, and, it's, and here you have five ribbons of the Paraguayan flag. And I was going to say, it's really fan, small. <laughs> <laughs> the fans the said it will oh, mean wow. a lot to them if you wear it oh, while see. you are here. Oh, wow. Yeah. Oh, that's yeah. really sweet. Yeah, I like it. Thank you. Oh, yeah. Thanks very much. Sí, el mensaje final es que ellos están más que entusiasmados por tocar acá esta noche y eso, que le esperan a todos eh, mañana a la noche. Is there a hacer... difference between the, the flat one and the... Different models. Uh, just different models. Okay. Cool. Yes, el entusiasmo y la promesa de un buen show mañana. Ah, thank you. Ok, muchísimas gracias a todos. De esta manera finalizamos la conferencia. Un fuerte aplauso, por favor.